make you feel good. Have you ever seen a polyphemus moth? If so, you've probably never forgotten the experience. Their massive size alone would be enough to remember, but they also appear as if they were painted by a talented artist. I am awestruck every time I see one. Whenever I look closely at them, they kind of remind me of the original Mothra, the monster from the old Godzilla movies. In fact, the Polyphemus moth was named after a mythical monster, Polyphemus, the giant cyclops from Greek mythology who had a single large round eye in the middle of his forehead. The moth was given the name because of the eye spot on each of its hind wings. These moths often perch with wings closed. However, when threatened, they open their wings exposing the false eyes. Entomologists believe this is a mechanism used to deter potential predators. Many people have seen small moths flying around lights at night, and once in a while you may have seen a fairly large moth, such as a Hagen Sphinx moth, but Polyphemus is among the largest moths in the United States. The Polyphemus moth is so stunning it actually looks like a butterfly. They can be about one and a half inches long and have wingspans which range from four to six inches. The color of Polyphemus moths can range from brown or tan to bright reddish brown. They have a small eye on each forewing and a large eye on each hindwing. Males have large, fern-like antennae which help them detect females from miles away. The antennae on females are much thinner. On the upper surface of the wings, they have pink-edged white antimedial and postmedial lines on each forewing and a pinkish white-edged black postmedial line on each hindwing. The undersides are various shades of brown and appear leaf-like in appearance, probably a survival mechanism. Polyphemus moths can be found all over the United States and well up into Canada. In the warmer southern two-thirds of the United States, polyphemus moths have two flights, April through May and July through August. In the northern states and into Canada, A, they usually have just one flight per year. However, in places like Florida and the southern halves of Louisiana and Texas, they'll often have flight times year-round. Polyphemus moths are often found near deciduous forests, but also in urban and suburban areas and parks. They are strongly attracted to lights at night, so you may find one on your porch from time to time. When females are ready to mate, they release pheromones to attract males. The males, with their large antennae, can detect females from great distances. These moths, like many others, live short lives, just several days, as they only have vestigial mouth parts and do not eat. They live just long enough to mate and then lay eggs. The polyphemus moth goes through four stages of life, the egg, the caterpillar, the pupa, and the adult. Eggs are laid on leaves of host trees and plants. The eggs hatch about 12 to 14 days afterward. Polyphemus caterpillars, like all moth and butterfly caterpillars, go through five stages, called instars, before cocooning. In the first instar, the caterpillar is tiny, like a grain of rice, and will grow much larger over time as it eats. The first polyphemus caterpillar is whitish in color with tiny zebra-like stripes. By the time it reaches its fifth instar, the caterpillar will be quite large and yellowish-green with a gel-like appearance, like a gummy bear. They have little dots along the body, which are usually orange and red. At the end of each instar, the caterpillar will molt, shedding its old skin. Once it's time, the caterpillar will then create a cocoon around itself using silk and often a leaf. It will live inside the cocoon for a few weeks, then emerge as a moth. Caterpillars eat leaves, often from the tree or plant on which the egg was laid. Just a few of the host trees include willow, silver maple, birch, hazelnut, and oak.